Hello everyone, welcome to Energy First Golf. Today in this video, we are going to talk about lag putts and what is the the uh, why it's called lag putt and what mechanical movement or feeling that we are we need you to work on and understand. Okay. So the reason why it's called lag putt is because the longer the putt is called lag putt. The longer the putt, putt, the more energy that's required. So the more energy that's required, that means more energy absorption that's required. We already know that you got to create energy first, and there's energy absorption, and there's energy release. So when you have lag putt, means you have long distance, there's a lot more energy. And the lagging just means you're absorbing the energy. All right? So now let's first, I will give you guys an example of a short putt. Short putts right now from here to that hole is really about a six footer and five footer. Okay. So with a shorter distance, we already know that you don't need a lot of energy because it's shorter distance. So you don't need energy to translate into a lot of speed. So right now, if I putt like this with a shorter distance, see if I putt, as you can see, I missed a little bit, but I don't need to feel like there's lagging in my putting stroke, okay? All I'm doing is just say, hey, you know, I need to get to the hole, right? But we already know when you have a putting stroke, the energy comes from your center rotation. Your wrist is pretty soft and relaxed, but not noodle -y. And your arms and your shoulders and your chest muscles, they have a connectivity feeling of a structure. You don't want to be very tense. So that's the reason why I never like the term rock the shoulder back and forth. You're not doing that. If you're doing the rock the shoulder back and forth, you really are not rotating. You're creating what I call the two-dimensional movement, which is not good for golf. Okay? And the truth is, with energy first golf, energy first impact later, doesn't matter. You have a full swing, chipping, bunker, putting. All your energy come from the same area, which is your middle, your core, your obliques, your hips, all the big muscles. Okay. But earlier I showed you that when you have a shorter distance, there's no need for lagging because why? You don't have a lot of speed. Just like when you're sitting car right now, if you drive it very slowly, your body isn't gonna, isn't gonna rock back to absorb the g-force. But if you're going very fast, it absolutely will. Right? If you're going really fast, you punch the gas and your body's going to go back. That's called lagging. So when the shorter distance, you don't. Now, um, because the COVID-19 virus, there's no flags. And you can see I have a club there and I have a stick there. You all know we have our FO Golf gloves, Energy First Impact Later. We have our belt. Check out our Shopify link. From here to the club right there is about, I say, a 40-footer. And from here to the longer one over there, it's almost like 30 yards, okay? So as you can see right now, if I'm putting to that hole, I know because it requires a lot more energy. And you can see right now when I putt, there's a fluidity of my wrists. I am turning my body here, okay? I am turning my body here, but my wrist is relaxed enough. It's going to absorb the energy, which is the lagging. So you can see that's the reason why from here to there is really already a lag putt because, it's, you know, again, it's like a 40 foot. So I'm going to lag the putt up there, try to get close to the hole, okay? Boom, let's get in the hole. Ooh, I missed about like two inches. But I can tell you my wrist is relaxed. Why is that? Because I got to have an equation where there's energy. There is movement, the energy production, and then there is energy absorption. So there's got to be lag. Lagging just means energy absorption. So you got to feel that. If you don't have a lag, the energy never transmits properly. So it never gives you a sense of a feedback that's correct. Would you agree? Because right now, if you have your eyes blindfolded, if your eyes are blindfolded, it doesn't matter how fast the car is going. Your body never absorbed the G-force. So you will never know how fast the car is going. Right? 
So that's the reason why if you, if you relax, you have a blindfold, if your car's going fast, you'll do this. You'll say, oh, I'm going fast. If you do a little bit, i say, I'm going slow. Or if your body didn't move, you say, well, I'm just cruising on 20 miles per hour. So that's the reason why lagging is a form of a reaction or a product of your energy that's telling you how fast you're going. And that's the reason why it's called a lag putts. Okay? So I'm going to do one more time. This time, I'm going to do the same target. I'm still going to lag it up there. My, my wrist is pretty relaxed with correct energy. With my core motion, I'm going to lag it up there. Okay? All right. So I went a little far, but I'd rather take that, actually. Right? So because a lot of times, you always really want to pass the hole a little bit. So that went about, I say, a little bit too much. But that's okay. All right? So I'm going to do one more. This time, we're going to try the... 30 yard almost really far from here right so let's see but with this distance i know because the way how i've been practiced i know how much energy i need but at the same time i also need to know how much lag i need to give me that sort of book and give me the feeling oh this is the speed and the distance i'm trying to cover so right now i'm going to it's almost like a circle of life kind of thing, right? I have energy that I have to have a lag. Then I say, oh, there's the distance and speed I'm trying to cover. So, circle of life, right? So, there you go. All right? I'm going to lag it. But I know I need a lot more energy because it's much further. All right. Let's see how it goes. Come on, get in the hole. Wow. <laughs> So it passed about like a two feet, right? Now, why is this so important? Because when you are practicing, everything equation, when I say equation, because everything has to match. Energy production, creation, energy absorption, energy release. So it's like a, cir a circle of life. Everything matched. So that way, as you practice, you say, oh, this is what happens. Because everything is based on where you're just pushing it or you're forcing it. It's not a correct mathematic equation. And that's the reason why you're never able to concrete. When I say concrete means build on correct data, absorb what is right so you can, it can carry on, you can build, you can develop, and you will never forget. Because what makes golf crazy is that if you never built correctly you don't have a correct data you're always kind of in the dark you're searching but the problem is like i say golf is the only sport you can practice all day long not get good you can put one billion balls not get good when you actually need it because when you putting you have a visual you have a feeling of a hole you have a distance you read the slope the break and then you got to match the energy, but you also have to match the absorption of the energy so you know how to release. You can't just go, well, I have a hole right now. I'm going to, I'm just going to punch it, right? I'm going to, there's no lag. But then you say, well, well, that went too far. Because that stroke right there, it's not well-rounded. It means I didn't do things correctly based on energy. I'm just trying to hit the ball very hard. So, understanding that's the reason why it's called lag putts when you have long distance. Because if you don't have a correct energy, there's no lagging. Right? Think about that. Alright? So, um, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, please don't forget to click the button here to subscribe to our channel. And we'll have two more videos if you want to know more about energy first impact later. Alright, I will see you next time.